So it's finally time that I make this video. So this is my streaming room tour 2023. I've been putting this off for far too long. The room is not where I want it to be right now, but it's better to show you the progress rather than not show you a video at all, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're gonna first start off with the desk, the gaming setup area where we have our two ASOS, ASOS, ASUS 24 inch uh, monitors. It's on a Juano or Juano or whatever old name is this um, monitor mount. With this monitor mount, actually you can like, you can tilt it, pull it forward and even um, mount it vertically. So it's a pretty inexpensive um, monitor mount. So make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. I'll make sure to include all the product links and info in the descriptions of the video. So go ahead and check it out. Um, other than that, we have the Go XLR. This is literally the heart of my gaming setup. It routes all my audio, so I'm not having any um, hiccups. I have my Stream Deck from Elgato, another important part of my streams. It controls every single thing when it comes down to audio, um, funny memes, um, flashback replay buffer, all that, all that good stuff. Along with that, we have our Nintendo Switch. This is, I think, the very first one that, that um, came out. I only bought a Nintendo Switch to play Let's Go Pikachu even when it first came out. And since then, that's, that's my, one of my main drivers on my stream, right? So the next other thing we're going to be looking at is our mouse pad. So this is mouse pad is from High Ground. It's okay, you know, like it's all right. My, my mouse glides correctly, so nothing too crazy, but the design, I love it. It literally matches the, the aesthetic I'm going for with the white and black theme, right? Along with the keyboard from High Ground. So this High Ground keyboard is pretty dope. Again, it fits the aesthetic, it looks nice. It is not as clicky, which I really um, enjoy, right? I don't want the clicky, 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 clack, but it's, it's okay, right? So this is the glorious Model O mouse. And it's okay, it's lightweight, it um, is ergonomic, it feels good in the hands, and I can't complain with it. It's a really good mouse. Also included in the setup, we have the Elgato um, key light. Really great when it comes to lighting this subject, lighting me, especially on a stream. And then behind that, we have the Nano Leaf lines with the black um, caps on them. So pretty dope, nice little accent accessory to the, um, the stream room. And last but not least, on the desk we have, well actually, before last but not least, we actually have the one of my main cameras, my very first DSLR camera. It's the Sony A5100 with the 60mm f1.4 camera lens. This is my main driver when it comes to having a cam on stream. Have it for years, mounted right here, doing its job, doing its thing, and I love it. One of the best investments I ever made in content creation. And we have my very first PC. This is the Omen Obelisk. I got this, I think it was on sale, like, like a 4th of July sale, so yeah. I got it for like $1,200, and since then it's been doing its thing, making videos, helping me stream, and I love it. Omen, sponsor me. So yeah, we got the, the Nano Leaf lines, the camera, the, the PC, the, the two monitors. I had four monitors before actually, and I downsized so it can like be a little bit more minimalistic. And I'm not gonna lie, I like it, you know? It's not as, how do you say, it's not as convenient as before, but it works, right? Yo, by the way, I'm shooting off of a Sony a7 IV and my hand is literally shaking. I, I need to work out. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Also, how, how can I forget? Um, we have the Shure S7B microphone mounted on the Elgato low profile boom arm. I love it. I just changed it up from the Rode boom arm I had before and I love the low profile feature. I love how ergonomic it is. It's not too much in the way. Hands down, one of the best additions to the stream room. And of course, when it comes to uh, monitoring, monitoring the sounds from the stream, we have the Sennheiser earbuds or earphones. Um, it's pretty nice. I don't like to wear headphones anymore because, you know, it, it feels coming in the head and I feel like constricted. So for the past four years, well, cap, for the past three years, I've been wearing these um, earbuds and I can't go back. But I do have some, some, great, some great headsets back on the pegboard. So we can go more into that soon. Well, right now. <laughs> All right, future trip here. So I forgot to mention uh, the desk I'm on is the IKEA system desk. So it's pretty um, ergonomic. I love it. And let's continue with the video. Yeah. All right. So on the pegboard, right, we have a lot, a lot of goodies, right? We got a lot of goodies. We got, we got the Aperture MC, right? So this is one light that I use to go ahead and light my sources. So if I'm going to do a product photography, you might see a little accent like this going over you, you got the idea right so is it for a nice little accent light or key light if you don't have anything available I got my Dagon Corsair Virtuoso this is I love this Dagon headset it's just I don't like weird headsets but 
if I were to wear one, that would be it. We got the L bracket from Small Rig. I use it to make vertical content, so I use that onto this um, A74. I can mount it vertically or horizontally. On my tripod, we have a sling for the camera. Of course, camera bags. We got um, key, um, the keyboard duster. We got a DJI um, gimbal. We also have another tripod that we can go more into depth to if you guys would like. So make sure you guys go ahead and leave a thumbs up and a comment to let me know if you want me to make a full video of what's on my pegboard. And of course, we have the DJI microphone, what I'm using right now. It's hooked up to a Shure MVL lav mic and it's top tier when it comes to, you know, catching your audio. We have a bunch of, a bunch of other things. If you guys want to see a full video, go ahead and check it out. Also, kit lens. Over here now, behind me, we got my Diagon calendar, one of the stream background decor that a lot of people have been um, talking about. So it's pretty fun to have this in the background, big calendar. Each time you change it, it goes from white to black. It's pretty cool. All right, so over here we have the two um, Myro lanterns from Target. This has been a pretty much a staple in my stream room when it comes to aesthetics. And whenever like someone would follow, like, share, subscribe, whatever, the lights would go off because they're kit with a two hue bulbs and I was able to like hook them up through the software in Lumia Stream. We also have everything sitting on a Sobro side desk, right? So this topples as a refrigerator and storage, right? So one side, you open it up, we got goodies in that bad boy, close it up. Other side, we have storage, right? So you see extra controllers in there as well as camera equipment. So pretty fun stuff, can't complain. Inside here, we have an iPad that uh, I don't really use this, right? Only when I'm, okay, only when I'm on the road and I need a quick edit or to upload or download anything, I use this. I don't use it as much as I should do. So yeah, don't talk about me. And of course, in here as well, we have a 3DS. So if you guys know me, I play a lot of Pokemon and all things are being cross compatible or backwards compatible. So I was able to transfer my past Pokemon into the newer gen and it's been fun. All right, so in a pack that's been lighting me um, this entire time is the Amaran 60 XS. Yes, it's on the Aperture Mini um, Dome softbox. So it's pretty cool. I love this, I love this light. It's one of the best upgrades I have in this entire stream room. It's lighting me correctly the entire time. I can't complain. It's also on my um, C-stand, so yeah. And of course, the area where I have my, you know, usual head talking shots, this space right here. I love it, it's sleek, it's simple, it makes sense. But yeah, well, the camera um, memory just got full. So hey, we're back though. So yeah, this is uh, one of my first spots to shoot. Um, it's, it's clean, it's simple. Other spot we have to shoot here, of course, is at the main setup, you know, from the Sony A5100 perspective towards this way, or we can go from right here back that's another shot and this section here is what i'm working on currently so i was hoping to get this part done before i make this video but you know what what can you do right and so this area is going to be um another um talking head spot to where we're going to have mounted on the wall um three different rows of um color paper to where each backdrop is going to be um, slightly different and in the office now there is a, a closet where it's housing like all of my like goodies right so in here there's gonna be hold on get a light yeah so in here you'll see on this wall right here is a marble tabletop and the base for it is here so i can just pull this all out set it up have it here place my camera right here boom and then we have different color wallpaper behind me different product shot different um, areas to shoot product photography so this is on the construction i wanted to get it finished before this video but you know life happens i had ordered the pole that goes in between the rolls and the pole isn't the right size so i have to go ahead and custom find a right size pole customize it long story short i can't get it done right now other than that in here we have a bunch of other equipment we got um keyboard spray spray between your keyboard wd44 electronics under there um, if you guys want to see a full breakdown of my office storage room area, let me know. I can go ahead and make a video on that as well. But yeah, we have extra equipment in here, extra advanced, um, my range bag. Um, I love that. And of course, every convention I've ever been to, all right there. So yeah, if you guys want to see a video on everything inside this um, storage room, go ahead and let me know. We can get that done. Like and comment. This section right here is not too pretty, right? But it houses my PS5 my Google uh, mesh wireless system where I can make sure we have different networks in the house so when I'm streaming it's not bogging on the system. We have my power battery backup. This thing right here powers every single thing so if the power were to go out I can shut down my PC um, safely. Then of course back here um, a lot of wires so don't judge me it is what it is. The cable management is kind of nice right so if you go down here under the setup 
you'll see we have Elgato pedal. So with the pedal, we're able to um, mute myself in Discord and click portions of the stream. And then we have this um, cable management spine under here where I can run all my cables to to make sure it looks nice and seamless. And we have a, a box right here. So this box is housing another battery backup that I have with all the other wires that's connected into it. So it can look somewhat cleaner, right? So this was us. One way I was able to like jerry rig and make sure the kill management under the desk is like not that bad, right? So other than that, I think that's everything in the stream room. Oh wait, how could I forget? My boy up here, baby Typhlo Jean. This man is up in the corner, just watching out, protecting the room. Yo, I feel so bad and I don't know how could I almost forget this, but my diagon chair, man. This is my Homer Miller Logitech chair. And for those of you who may not know, I've um, been in the army. I jumped out of the planes for a living, so my back is not that good. And sitting in this chair has literally helped me um, to be able to, you know, edit, stream, and just be at the desk a little bit longer. So shout out to Diagon, this chair right now. It, it costs a pretty penny, but I think it's worth it, man. When it comes to ergonomics and your, your health, I think you need to go ahead and invest in that as much as in the tech that you wear or have, right? Let me know if you think anything else I can use in this room to make it pop or elevate it or anything that can make it better. Um, I'm open to all suggestions and until next time, guys, peace.